the 5th of August, 1962. Nelson Mandela had spent the morning with Chief Albert Lutuli. He was to return to Johannesburg later that day, but decided to make a stopover in Asheville to visit some of his comrades. It was here, the home of Jir Naidu, that he ate his last meal as a free man. Madiba have walked up this lane with a dusty coat. He had a basket in his hand and uh, as if he's selling some cakes or something like that. When he entered the house, everybody was already waiting for him in the bedroom. Fatima Mir, MP Naika and his wife, Saru Naika. They gathered upstairs in the children's bedroom, away from prying eyes. This is the room where Mandela and MP Naika, Dr. Naika and his wife, and Fatima Mir and Jiar were in this room and having their lunch and they waited. I mean, they had their talks till about half past four. GR had informed his wife about a very important guest that was to visit. It was only later that she learned that the guest was in fact Nelson Mandela. The Naidus had always prepared food for all their visitors. But this time round, her husband requested that she prepare a special lunch. I cooked pot of mutton curry, chicken curry and mince. And uh, I took it upstairs because there was very little time for them and I had to rush with the pots to upstairs. Jiar had shielded his family from his work and political activities, despite being a prominent photojournalist at the time. Mrs. Naidu knew very little about what her husband did and she never sat in on any of the meetings. My husband being a journalist, he knew a lot of politicians and uh, lots of people of all color and race. The meeting went they on behind closed doors for hours, and when it was over, they each left the house separately, and that was to be the last time GR saw Mandela. Mrs. Naidu, who was attending to her children at the time, says she never saw Mandela leave. I have to be very honest with you. I didn't speak to my Madiba that day. I only saw him coming up with a dust coat and I was gone. I was really feeling sad. He had to disguise himself like that to come and do, you know, the necessary with whatever he wants to do, fighting for the freedom or whatever it may be. Later that evening, Mandela was arrested by security police in Hawick, outside Peter Maritzburg. The Naidus learned of the arrest the following day. Mandela's arrest sparked many questions about who had actually ratted him out. We heard that he was arrested, and GR and MB Naika, they were here. And you could see it was so sad. Going from my house, for him to be arrested. And uh, it really took a few of these people to, you, you know, you know it's, I can't explain to you the sadness as if you lost a dear one. In October 2009, 47 years after the meeting, Mrs. Naidu and her children were reunited with Mandela. Sadly, GR, who had died at the age of 53 on February the 8th, 1982, never had another chance to meet Madiba. The Nelson Mandela Foundation, however, in honor of GR, launched an exhibition titled GR Naidu, A Generous Eye. I am Mklongo, SABC News, Durban.